Melissa Nicole Proudfoot, Chris's sister, and the same woman that was caught on video speaking in an impatient tone to Sebastian, has been posting a few things on Facebook. In this post, that I'm sure you have already seen, she is upset that everyone is blaming her for the actions of a 15-year-old boy, who left his house in the middle of the night. Don't you guys think it's interesting how they all just go with this theory of Sebastian walking out of his house in the middle of the night? Has anyone asked Katie why Sebastian would want to leave his house? Furthermore, why would he want to leave without his phone, switch and shoes? That's a major question. Melissa goes on to say that she has nothing to do with anything, but yet people continue to harass and blame her. Anyway, I found another post today that I've never seen before. In this, she offers a very creative theory. She says she is trying to think out of the box. It reads, Hey everyone, this is my nephew, he is high-functioning verbal autistic. He walked out of the house in the middle of the night with his glasses, a small flashlight and no shoes. We have been searching since 6.30 yesterday. They are searching the 10 miles around his house, but I'm worried he may have got in the backseat of a car, fell asleep and woke up after someone got to their job, and then got out of the car. It's possible. I'm trying to think outside the box to help find him. It's just so hard, you never know how kids think. Please keep a lookout. Thanks. So, in cases such as this one, anything is possible. Why would Sebastian sneak out of his warm bedroom and fall asleep in someone's car though? I don't think that theory makes a lot of sense, unless he was put out of the house and tried to seek some warmth in someone's car. That could make sense, but then someone is not telling the full story of what happened that night. What do you guys think? Drop your thoughts down below.